I'm Max of Night Six. I am Belrisa, and next to me is JG. Yes, indeed, I am. We got Melty Blood Top Eight. We are on Team Spooky. Spooky, the originator of the this originator, community. The one that started it all. Where better to have the stream, actually? Yeah, exactly. And of course, Bell, you just got your award. I cannot believe that. That's crazy. The community, the community champion award? of the community. It's the lifetime achievement award. It was you just know, the, it was you know just who the they give those. Channel, bro. It was just the RC channel. Nah, you know who they give those to, right? Yeah, it's, it's the people who retire. It's like, yeah, your time's done. Get out of here. Yeah, but of course, you really are a pillar of the community, and not just for this game, but just in general for fighting games. And I mean, you've here it all weekend, and you're like, eh, it was, it was nothing. It was nothing. I just made a website, whatever. Yeah, but you, but you've like, done so much for so many people it, individually crazy. as yeah, well. It, it's, it's not crazy. just, oh, I made this site that everyone uses. You did a lot. Yeah, like all these people coming up to me saying, Bell, you've made a difference. And I'm just like, that's crazy, bro. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> but yeah. yeah, this top eight is going to be nuts. And our, the first match is absolutely crazy. insane. We have East versus West, literally. So Skeleton, known for Crescent Co Oh, I'm, they're putting me on the loudspeaker. They're putting me on the loudspeaker. <laughs> Everyone's yeah, going to hear me Skeleton right now. Okay, Jin, let's get it. I think it's going to be a Seacoma Mirror. What do you think? Yeah, Seacoma Mirror, uh, Jin, Osaka, mm -hmm. Athena Arcade. Athena, yeah, shout outs to Athena. Skeleton, New York, Lunar Phase. So shout outs to New York. Yeah, this that's one's going to work. We're from. coming in hot on this topic because what do you think is going to happen? I think it could go either way go because either way. they did play sets and... Skeleton told me it was like 8, 10, Jin's favor. But Skeleton was saying like, oh, I won with subs. So I'm thinking about playing subs, but it's like, nah, if you lose on a sub, you're going to feel bad forever. But, yeah, so but you know, Skeleton's got that crazy download speed. Nah, but the thing is, like, if you're going to do it, this is the moment, and you're going to play the mirror match. And right. that's what we're getting. That's what we're getting. We're getting the C coma mirror, and here we go. These are the two best C coma players on Earth. Yeah. Two best sequels on her. All right. <laughs> what have we got? Jin with the zombie color. Yep. Skeleton going with the trademark Classic brown. brown. And, yep. and Skeleton got the stage advantage. Right. Always Tono Mansion. Classic. Yeah. Jin Shrek in first blood, though. Jin going in. Yeah. Skeleton trying to move away, using all the air options to stall. Both players still feeling themselves out. Jin going back in. Yeah, Excellent EX guard from Skeleton so far. Yeah. This is a test of who knows the matchup better. All right, and Skeleton the true strikes coma. back. Takes Jin all the way back to the corner. Does not get that ground tech. Oh, missed the grab. All right, Skeleton gets started a little bit. Chases down the up back. How do you feel about that cannonball? The Americana. It, that, was a reg that was a super jump, and it was a reaction to see what Jin was doing after, too. So that was legit. This is still anybody's game at this point. But Skeleton is putting the tax to Jin in the corner. No options. No meter. Skeleton air dodges. Both players oh, just flying man. for the corner. That was a scramble in the air. That was... All right, let's get it. Get out of there. We'll get back in. A little scrambly, and that falling button actually worked. That's Randomly, gonna... stuff just happening. Yeah. Forces the burst from Skeleton. This is going to kill. a big air dash jump C. That's going to kill. All right. Skeleton taking that first round. All right, round two. New York versus Osaka. Oh, we are just in there. Dash to see uh, Jin trying to inter intercept, but just not working out. Yeah, what I'm seeing so far is that Skeleton seems like she's willing to take more risk. Jin playing a little bit more stable, a little bit more conservative. That was kind of crazy, though, that forward tech into the command throw. He's going with the excellent reads, just up back in the corner. And so far, Jin has not been able to get anything going. Bunkers out that EX hot foot. Skeleton oh, big whiff. Big whiff, but not too much damage on that one going to happen. Yeah. Uh, skeleton. Both players keeping the strings incredibly short, just trying to That's kill each dead. other out for the defensive options. And Skeleton is going to take yeah. game one. Skeleton is really well known for these reaction shields. Yeah, the thing uh, with Jin Skeleton. Was, yeah, Jin is way more, like, less likely to gamble on the shield like exactly. that. Exactly. Yeah, Skeleton is just constantly pushing the offensive, just going in, making these very calculated reads. All these neutral jumps. No punish on the whip 2C, but... Yeah, you notice this matchup is just straight footsies. It is. It's a very honest, melty blood matchup. Something you thought you'd never see in this game. Yeah. Coma's 5A hits so high, actually, so that it's really good at hitting uh, air dashes. Skeleton just gambled on the... the guess, okay. Guessing a command throw. See a gamble? No gamble. I noticed that Skeleton's out. characteristic gambling on wake-up is not a thing so far. Unfortunate drop. That was a really good play with that air throw. Maybe a little bit of nerves for both players. All right, let's All right go. we're gonna see a TK hop. Nope, we don't. 
just one dive kick. Oh, no Gets EX thrown. cancel. That, you can still EX cancel that 5A. And as soon as I say that, Skeleton gambles on defense and gets punished for it, and that's going to be round one for Jin. Yeah, just a couple of um, unfortunate happenings in that corner situation. Booker is going with Man, that 5A is with crazy. Meter. Yeah, Skeleton's being really conservative with the offense and so looking for Jin to do some kind of reverse. Oh, no! The... The burst gets baited, but Skeleton just pushes 5D anyways. <laughs> yeah, drops Classic a combo, skeleton. but punishes the tech. And now we're busting out. And a out. bust out from Jin. Now we're fighting. Nice uh, try to escape, but catch the landing. It's getting scrambly. It's getting scrambly. Decisions happening at a rapid Ooh, pace. Yo. Counter hit jump A. Okay, we are in there. Jin's only going to get two more chances, maybe. Good Five A's smash, that yeah. IED. Nice. That's one. Here we go. Other way. Oof. A little bit too slow in that. There's and a lot of gets thrown. Guess for game. Ton of respect being shown for both players. Jin getting a lot of this red health back now. Next hit will even it up. And the life tolls are now even. It's still anybody's game at this point. Ooh, escape Skeleton. the corner. We're we're swapping sides repeatedly. Both players finally just dive kick. Vipers for a position, trying to find a spear spacing to get their normals in. And again, the EX grab. Again with the X grab. No meter for each either player. And the, and the, the whip EX punished guard, 2C. Yeah. The EX guard made the 2C whip. Yeah, Skeleton is just so good with those EX guard, creating space to do whip punishes with the 2C. And this is winner semis, right? So it's still first two. It still is. Skeleton is on the last round. Jin trying to make something happen, gets hit by the 2C. Yeah, just like the last game. Gets sent back into the corner, thrown. Oh, Coma wakes up slow. Yeah, a little bit early on that meaty 2A. Oh, Get okay. Thrown again, Skeleton's starting to feel comfortable. Oh the my god. The throws are coming out. Skeleton has a read. Jin is holding down back too much. Skeleton's taking advantage of that. There we go. The big big hit. Counter hit confirmed. Jin Not even that much damage, though. Well, That's a big mash. Are you? One more hit. One more hit. This is going to be it. What's going to happen? Yeah, Jin fuzzy jumping. They're trying to. He's got to make a big play. Gets the space for the heat, but and tried to move. Skeleton has Skeleton the Skeleton with the 2-0. The awareness from Skeleton is just too good. Yeah, 2-0 against Jin. Jin. So can America compete? America might actually win. America might compete, and we're going to see but one Moai of America's. Is here, though. Yeah, we're going to see one of America's from the West Coast, KFL. Yeah, KFL, a longtime player. Actually, like, hasn't, wasn't playing for a while and was like, at Climax is coming. Yeah. Started grinding again. Yeah, KFL is just like... Yeah, I guess, uh, I guess I'll let your climax And, and KFL is not just a good multiple player, a good fighting game player in general. Like in KFL was a previous champion. Yeah, I mean, was definitely a climax champ. 2019. Yeah. Um, Evo champion too, wasn't he? Uh, probably, definitely. Probably, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, KFL's won a lot, but I'm saying KFL also is a good like Street Fighter player. And all the other anime games, like Street Fighter 3 is pretty good. Yeah, yeah uh, little, little no fact, his uh, handle came from Cover Fail, which is a third strike thing. Right, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah a yeah. lot of people don't know what the name actually means. Yeah, because, you know, he goes with that, you know, Wi Fi password code or whatever that thing yeah. is. Yeah. I yeah. think KFL got like top 50 at Evo for third strike. So I think we're going like to see Arc versus. Wait a minute. See Satsuki. So, yeah, Moai. Moai uh, trolling. Everyone knows Moai from Big One Arcade. See Sats Monster. One of the best in the world. So I think what we're going to see here is Moai already knows Sea Arc is all about that 2-2. So he's going to have that timing down to safe jump that. You think the safe jump is worth it, though? Because you can still get EX shielded. I feel like Satsuki is just going to run the mix. I feel like Moai may have been observing during the weekend and knows How KF KFL he, plays yeah. very safely, very textbook. And you don't see a lot of wake-up twos. You don't see a lot of, like, crazy shields. Right, but when you play against Satsuki, you're going to have to guess. So I guess it comes down to how KFL is going to be defending against Moai's offense and right. what kind of moves he makes and how Moai is going to adapt around that. And, and don't sleep on Moai's neutral either. Both of these players are masters did, in that. Did you see when Moai destroyed the, the Montball? That was a moment. Kafkiela tried to do the Montball and oh, it just I got destroyed. I got to watch that. Back. You got to watch that. All right, here we go. Both players going in, jumping around, trying to establish space. Wow, okay. Moai, Moai with the soul read, no throw. good, and KFL fails the conversion. Gets okay, the soul read this time. Yeah, that one was more like a reactive play, seeing KFL just lingering in the air a little too much. All right, we got the first knockdown of the game. Okay. KFL comes out mashing. Yeah, because that was a lot of respect from Moy. And there again, but that's not converting either time. Both players failing to convert for whatever reason. Okay, that was 
Kind of ridiculous. Okay, nice. Kato Let's get just, that mash. He's just pressing. He's pressed Clive on Wake Up twice so far, and now he's got Moai in the combo. Rekka hard down. Safe jump. Safe jump, and okay, delays sneaky, the landing. Because, you, you know, that would bait an uh, EX Shield attempt. Another Bates one. and the, the burst. The, not the Domi burst. That, no, yo, that was... That was a hero burst. That and was a, half. a hero burst. Moy believed himself, but the game did not believe in him. Bursting in the air in this game is very dangerous. And you had no life. You might as well just play for the next round. KFL looks like he's dropping those TK Sonics. The thing is, right now, KFL is in a huge advantage because of this meter. I mean, Sasuke doesn't need meter, right? These players are swinging. They're yeah. just going at it. And we've got the tech punish. And the tech punish. The thing is, like, you probably shouldn't tech because maybe Moai didn't want to use the meter on that one. I think KFL got caught up. Oh, there's the 2-2, but no meter from KFL. Oh, it looked like KFL tried to do 6-2-3 anti-air, yeah. but tried it's to too slow. Break. All right, here we are in the situation again. What's going to happen? We're going to die. We're going to die. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think it's fine to just go to the next round. Like, if you if you gamble on the heat and you lose, you go into the final round with no meter. It's a Sasuke round. So it was a smart play from KFL. Dude. And Moy already it. bring back his meter situation from that round one burst. Gets hit by the overhead. KFL puts Moai in the combo. Now yeah. he's got to watch out because Moai is not afraid to die. Like, will bust out. All right, what's going to happen? Guess. Meaty, jump C, safe jump. Nice. Bates out the low shield. Again. Yeah, KFL in an incredible position. Jump to C. Left, right. We got the hit, but no confirm. All right, there's the 2 2. Oh, KFL. Moai baiting forward. the burst. <laughs> All right, it's time right. to guess, buddy. You guessed wrong. Wow, uh, KFL is actually looking for block, but now it, it's coming down to the wire. I mean, Searc might be able to take one more mix. Yep, one more mix, and the just obvious. waited. Waiting heat. Yeah, it just waited, but didn't bait it. It was probably looking for a DP rather than a heat. Makes it safe. Now both players going back to neutral. Oh, no, huge up A, but a huge drop. But the half charge. KFL, you got to block that. What a conversion off that guard break 5A. Oh no, now it's gonna come down to the final guess and Ark doesn't have meter. So, I mean, what can you do, shield? Yeah, oh my god, just barely misses. But Moai just went for the hard read. Went for the hard read and KFL back backdashes. Is that gonna be enough? I don't know, it's gonna be Is close. it gonna be enough? It doesn't kill! Oh, and he the psychic golden air throw! And that's gonna be it! That's gonna take the round. That's gonna take the round. Moai with the unreal reads. Yeah, as soon as Moai saw the, the jump, he's like, I know you're air dashing. I will guilty Moai gear with, Moai grab with you. a quick prayer of thanks. And we're going to game two. Oh, yes, the CR classic. Just the run CR through you and press button. Running at you is a mix up. She's like kind of involved when she's dashing through you. KFL with a curious drop yet again. Yeah, gets caught swiping in the air. Punish the landing recovery. Moai. Now KFL's back in the blender. What's it going to be? Just two twos out. <laughs> Yeah, if you're above me, that it's gonna hit. It's gonna hit. Nice. We didn't get hit. We gotta punish that. Nice. Moai just swinging. A lot He's of times people struggle punishing that two two a. You gotta know how to punish it. You gotta know. All right. And the two two c. She has a. Uh, Satsuki has mad reversal options. Kfl has been go. pretty successful in baiting out those shields from Moai, but he has not been able to capitalize with the punish. Gets caught with a delayed overhead into, into the, the reset. B grab. That's big damage. Is this going this to is kill? Gonna kill even it's going to kill. It's going to kill. Jesus. Yeah, what a reset. And now we come back to what I was saying about KFL's conservative play. Like, he's getting Moai Again, the half tempo. charge. You he's have to know to block that. You're the CR player. You do that to everyone else. Let's go. Okay, for the early heat, think he's going to get it back, oh. but gets grabbed. Now all that heat's going to go away. Yeah, Moai just put out that 5B, intercepting CR running forward. That's, that button has a huge hitbox. Then finally, we block the half charge. <laughs> Moai misses the air back dash, maybe? There we go, anti air. But chases the tech pretty hard. Ducks under the jump in. There oh, we go, anti air. No conversion. Beat. KFL missing a lot of good convert hits. But he converts that guard break 5A into an air throw. Waits a little bit with that hesitation. Gets Moai with the 2A. Let's go. Finish this combo, though. Let's All go. Right, the crowd be? lapping and it up, and there's the 2 2. Twos. And she can OTG that. And it's Are like, we going to see an arc drive setup? No. He baits. Yeah, KFL new. All the way to the corner. <laughs> and now that she was on the other foot, Moai's going to have to guess. Yeah, no meter for Moai. No meter. Trade. Not a bad trade. Not a bad trade. We'll take those. Oh, went for the full charge. Moai's ready for that. What is this mix-up? 
AFL Smash. And that's it. And that's, that's it. it. Satsuki 2C Sotsky into the 2C. EX. And it has a lot of reach. It's too fast. KFL. That was a 2-0, but it was highly contested. Like, KFL had it, especially that first game. The first game was, like, literally no help for Moai. It's always rough when you have those, like, really close 2-0s. It's like, man, I could have gotten it. It was a 2-0, but it was close. Yeah, but, I mean, that shows the level of play that we have. Like, it feels like most of the match, even before the top eight, like, a lot of people could have been in this top eight as well that are super strong players. I was saying to a lot of people that this event, it really feels like it's cross-regional, cross-generational. It's a once in a right. lifetime thing. We'll, we're not, we're we never going to see a confluence of these kinds of players nah, of yeah. this caliber at an event like this. Probably not. This is a once in a lifetime thing. We got our best players in their 30s. We got the kids in their 20s. Some of the younger kids in their early 20s or whatever. But you know, they're all represented in this bracket right now. Yeah, the kids are all right. They're they are good. The gap between um, Japan I, I and mean, the rest of the world has been has been shrinking. Yes, and this is definitely the strongest the melty blood scene has ever been in exactly. North America for exactly. sure. For sure. Like, if you uh, if you didn't watch the top 24, you got to check it out because a lot of those players are super good. So, yeah. shout out to Zay. Shout out to Zay. Shout out to Dine, all Shout out to you. everyone. I, I mean all of you, honestly. Shout out to all of you. I can't say everyone's name. I'm gonna, we're going to run out of time here. All right. So, yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, speaking of that, speaking we of have – that's exactly what we were just talking about, right? Like, Ryder – Ryder is mad young. Like, I, I'm not sure what Ryder's age is, but it's got to be, like, early 20s, I remember right? a Ryder when you first started, and I was like, mm, I don't know about this H. Yalko thing. And now I'm just like, damn, <clears throat> this H. Yalko is a menace. Yeah, so, and, of course, learning H. Yalko from, from from the C. Yalko players. And the C. Yalko players, the overlord. Dude. Yeah, and, uh, of course, like, Duke, hardbred. Hardbred, yeah. You know, yeah. more my age, around my age, teaching the youngins. Uh, but, yeah, Ryder is ridiculous. So, Ryder is from Boston. The Boston scene is actually pretty sick. We saw if you watch that combo video, you saw Gaku in that combo video. You know, it's funny. Gaku's is ridiculous. I was over at NEC in 2009, 2010-ish, and I was saying, yeah, East Coast, New Jersey, New York. Shoutouts to NJ, Tom Berry, Generic, all oh, them. Oh yeah, um, yeah. It, it seems Rokunaya. like East. Rokunaya. Rokunaya. Shoutouts to Rokunaya. But yeah, it seems like East Coast has always been a force in this game. Of course, I feel like, and and a lot of that comes with uh, you know we had Alps and whatever, but also like. I think Zara helped a lot. I think a lot of the... And shout-out to Team Spooky. We're shout on out Team Spooky. Team, we have to, to shout-out Zara. Watch Battle by the Gazebo. Go to on YouTube. But yeah, a lot of the Godfathers were on the East Coast. Zara, Spooky. Everyone had the passion to be grinding this game out in the early days when we didn't know a single thing. Sure. And, and, and no, we got to talk about Josh for a little bit, right? But yeah, Josh is just an unknown warrior. He just shows up the game, so he's just nice with it. Yeah, so has really good movement with Sihi Sui, just all over the screen. Really good reactions, really good fundamental play. What would you say the only weakness is? Is probably like knowledge, like knowledge of random character I would say, setups and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, I would say if anything, like Josh's not a huge thing, like labber. Josh's thing is that he's good at fighting games, so he probably doesn't know a lot of the more esoteric interactions in this game. But there's just so many of those; it's impossible. Yeah, but the thing is, like Josh is actually really good in terms of like movement and scrambling too. Exactly, so yeah, yeah. The movement and is Hisui is. Perfect fast. character for that. Fast. She is, yeah, super fast. She also can zone a little bit, so she's like very versatile and stable in a sense. All right. So speaking of zoning, we're, what are we going to see from Ryder in this? Do you think he's going to go for more giveaway plan? Do you think he's going to start? I don't know. We're going to have to see how the pots and pans interact. It's, I feel like Josh is going to set the pace in a sense. All right. So yeah, you see the Repugan goes right under the pot, so that might be a big thing in this matchup. Look at how this is playing out already. Right. So Ryder starting off strong. <laughs> All right. So Josh. He's still finding his way around the Rapukins. Seems like he does not have an answer for it yet. Gets cornered by Ryder. The OTG into that, the early yeah. guard break. Yeah, That's actually away all the And Ryder with the fuzzy? Yeah, y'all don't know about that fuzzy. That's In really the cheap. loop, and you get set back up into this again. All right, there we go. We got the heat from Hisui. Josh running right in, and that's going to hit. It's going to hit, and Josh taking Ryder all the way back to the corner with the tech trap. Ryder doesn't bite for it. Now, Fakes the overhead. Yeah, can't sleep on uh, Josh's offense, but Ryder doesn't care. He's like, I will mash. And that should, might not kill. Yeah, I don't, I'm, 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 I don't know. Oh, yeah, especially it. not if you drop. Ooh, that, uh, those, Josh gets that another toss was heat. a little How does she have meter already? It's going to hit. Oh, and the Rapukin misses completely because she's just full in ball. Both players Ooh, trying to scramble get around, getting really awkward air hits. Nice. Wow, what a chase. What a call out. 
All right, Ryder taking that first game. It, I would say Ryder is probably the underdog in this in this matchup, I would the, say the so, player yes. matchup. I feel like a lot of people know who Ryder is, but like this is the first time that he's performed at this level. I think. Yeah, Ryder, this is the proving grounds. You make time, you made climax top eight, and that's already really sick. But you can keep going, especially this climax. But yeah, Josh is still running into problems against that Rapukin, and Ryder yeah. sees that. Ryder's uh, movement is really good right now. Always getting behind the orb. Exactly, he's standing inside of the the orb so that. Josh can never force his game plan. And that this orb, orb the, yeah, it's going to prevent Josh from getting a good combo, but a rider accidentally put it away. Like, <laughs> the Aoko classic fail. We're both, we're at 55 seconds, and neither player has been able to get each other into their game plan. It's just been neutral scrambles and mm. random interactions, but Ryder with the big convert. Yeah, next hit. Going to put Josh on the ropes here, and drops the combo, goes back in, throws. Oh, no tech punish, this and the immediate scrambling. heat. Oof. Josh just throws it dodge? out. Why not? Yeah, it gets dodged. Oh, the big whiff air throw. And we just scramble at the end. Ryder on top. Josh looks like he's a little bit lost in the matchup. Yeah, I mean, I think Josh just got to slow down a little bit. And they're just going right back into it. Running back. I've never seen Josh like so hesitant to throw stuff out. But it looks like he's starting to figure it out. Even though he gets right in the corner, he gets opened up. Yeah. This was, this was holding four and not one. See, the Rapukin's making Josh take to the air, and then Ryder's just like, oh, I don't have to worry about your stuff, so I'm just going to go mm -hmm. air to air with you. Not a problem. Nice. Oh, okay. Oh, big and hit. a big pot counter hit. Is he going to make something happen? We get a bento. And throw. This is a strike throw game now. EX dust. And Josh is strange there. Nice. All Let's right. go. Bento again. What's going to happen? Oh, re reversal throw, but the bento. The bento ensures the ground tech. Scared to sheep. And, and Josh that, is backdashing. This kill. should kill, yeah. You gotta also remember, because I saw uh, Ryder baited the backdash earlier, like os it, but forgot that Hisui has an airborne backdash. You have Her to adjust so your good. combo. It is, it's rough. Doesn't have to adjust anything, it just dashes in 2A. Wake up EX dust from Josh, fails the air conversion. <laughs> and we're back to that awkward neutral game. Both players just fishing for interaction, uh, putting and stuff on the screen, throwing stuff out, gets tagged yeah, by the Yeah, but flies in a little overextension. The it wasn't expecting that orb. And Take the it loop. The corner, missing it, but yeah, try to lock down, but didn't quite get it. Oh, we are mashing. We are mashing. We're out here mashing. Nice. Oh, good awareness to whiff punish that with the 2C. Yeah, Josh was looking to clear the orb, but. Again, another little drop, but Ryder just catching Josh, just moving around. Ryder has Josh's number. He's air teched in after that drop three times, and he's gotten, just pu gotten punished with the jump eight three yeah. times. So it's like Josh maybe can adjust this air tech movement a little bit. He's really struggling with that Rapukin. Look at that. He just doesn't know. Like, he's usually used to the items covering everything, but the Rapukin's just getting in the way, stopping him from moving forward. Yeah, so it's like making... But Josh is not giving up on it. But you saw Ryder's like, all right, you can keep throwing these horizontal ones. He's gonna hold it. He's gonna hold it. Yeah, it doesn't hold matter. It. She can air dodge. Yeah. Air dodge. Oh, but Ryder didn't press a button. Yeah, it's just landing recovery was bad there. Ryder still right. had a bunch of air options. And Scary Josh, offense. Happen. Just gotta block though, because you'll take take a grab, but don't take a big hit. And Wait, what? So Ryder low shielded, but didn't get the shield counter. The low shielded know. what? The shield counter low shielded the 2A. I didn't, the shield counter didn't come out for some reason. I don't know what happened. But it wasn't a special move. Was it a bento? Yeah, it might have been the bento. If it was the bento, yeah, you yeah, got a it manual input. There Early bunker from Ryder. Well, see, so far, uh, Josh has been pretty active on defense, so like his detriment in a sense. A little more patient this time. Nice uh, shield or can do it. Oh, man, that would have been really dangerous. Oh, what a convert. All right, keep it simple. We haven't even seen one Hisui grab yet. We have not. That's crazy. Ryder's like, defense is like OD gets caught by the fake overhead into the 2C. Bounce back off the dust. And we're back here again. Bento's underfoot. There we go. That's the first grab. A reversal grab again and punishes the tech. You teching against Alco. Yeah, Ryder saw that the first time. Didn't punish it. Gets it the second time. That was Inter a rising shield, it looked like. Oof. I'm thinking Ryder's going to bunker. Yeah. Well, Josh baiting it out. The two of them are baiting each oh, other. Oh, no. This is going to hit. It's good. No, oh, that was a jump. Lifts. I thought that was a backdash. 
Josh finally showing signs of life. Can Ryder bring it back? Yeah, I mean, Josh is on set point now. And this is loser side. Like, you're going to go home. Big jump C punish. Yeah, because, you know, like, Josh has been throwing the pass, but not the one that goes up. You know, that one is really good to not let people just jump right over. So Ryder had a setup for the fuzzy, but was respecting Josh's wake up options. Both players still scrambling. Yeah, another ground tech. Arc drive. Oh, Arc drives preemptively expected to pots of pants, but instead of reacting, just did it. Maybe a little bit of nerve. But yeah, there it is again, just throwing only the horizontal pot and not also the vertical one. That's a lot of red health to regenerate off this heat. Yeah, it's still That was a game. ton. All right, we're here again. EX Bento. High low mix up, gets blocked. Yeah, I think Josh is doing the right thing, just not even going for throws, because eventually Ryder's getting antsy and pressing. He's noticed that Ryder's not really falling for the throw, so yeah, he's just going straight for the staggers. Crazy wow, pressure, dodges okay. right out of that chair. And we get the hit, on the, hits the back dash. All right, Josh, uh, like, this is your last chance, Ryder. And we oh, hit the- Oh, and the we hit the dust. beats it. That's gonna be it. We gotta kill here. We gotta kill, that's it. Let's go. So we're going to final, final round. Final round. One of these two is going home. One of home. these two has to go home. Who's it going to be? Again, catching the, the tech with the jump A. Like, Josh is not blocking. Gets the counter hit on the pop, but the second one hits at the same time, so Josh can't convert. Ring right back into the corner. Yeah, catches the up back. Let's go. Time to eat lunch. Tech. Nice throw, tech. Ryder is Incredible so throw. good on defense on that. Not, it's like, what, two throws the whole time? Yeah, and it's this crazy. is H-Moon, so you have to just kind of take it. You just have to know. Especially without the meter for Bunker. Like, and not again. even close to 100 yet. Finally gets an opening. One, two, three. No, this is pretty rough, because you're not, are you even going to get the, you're not even going to get to 100 right now. And now Josh is looking for that Bunker as soon as it gets to 100. Oh my god, that throw did no damage. <laughs> there it There's is. There's the Bunker, finally. Ryder's last chance. Uh, he just wasn't blocking, was just holding four. And now Ryder's gonna be looking for the burst from Josh. Yeah, there's a lot of wake up fuzzy? options. On wake the table. up arc drive! It hits. it hits! Classic! Yeah, couldn't jump away in time. That was really rough for Ryder. And Josh takes it over Ryder again. Yeah. There was too many options Hisui could present there. There was. That, yeah. that character's cheap. Character's cheap. Like how would you bait everything there and not What is what is that though? Yeah. Young Ryder? Young Ryder? That yeah. defense? That was that was insane. I mean, Ryder had an incredible run. And, I, I would have gotten And probably wasn't even expected to make top eight, even though like Ryder's a like, super up-and-comer, you know? I don't think he's oh. an up-and-comer. I think he's here. He's here. I mean, here. definitely. You don't just make top eight. You don't just make top eight at in this order, climax? In order to make top eight, you have to beat at least like five really good players. Like The top 32 is ridiculous. Even a lot of the pools matches... Some of them would be like tournament grand finals, you know? Yeah, we've, like seen, legitimately. we've seen some crazy upsets this tournament. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, my God, yeah. That was, that's what I was saying right before this all started. I was saying, I, I love chaos. I just want yeah. chaos. I want to see Okay, upsets. if you want, you want chaos, you got, we got Chase. We got Chase. And so Chase else. playing FSATs is going to bring the chaos. Chase. Uh, and this is a match that we see actually quite a bit. Like Chase is from Philly. But actually travels to New York quite a bit. Yeah, classic so he's been to a bunch of lunar phases. So, I mean, if you play this game, you have experience against Alps. Alps plays everybody. I've been seeing Chase come up for the past couple of years, and I got to say, I'm proud. Hell yeah. I, I, know, I know you got some words about F. Satsuki, but I'm proud. Well, yeah. I mean, F. Satsuki is a little different from Crescent. So not having the landing recovery adds a lot to the character. Yeah, yeah. And she has interesting neutral as well with the she has the two two series, which is like a, the big power wave kind of move that covers a lot of space. The big thing though is that she doesn't have that god five A that C has, which yeah, kind of changes have, a lot yeah, of things. It, it's not yeah, not having the five A, also not having the reversal like the one Moai was playing that ground pound. Yeah, yeah, the two two. Like that's also very huge because that move is like a dragon punch. But where F excels is not having that landing recovery. Yes, and and, and that six frame two C. Yeah, and some incredible normals, and having the unique special move that controls a lot of space exactly. as well. But yeah, Alps is of course a legend. This might be Alps' last event ever. So, the, the Crescent Nanya of he, North America. He's told me this is the last one, but we'll see if that actually holds true. No, yeah. I've heard this game's kind of hard to quit. Yeah, I know, I know. Everyone quote unquote quits. But I think this time is for real in a way. Like, I feel, it yeah. feels like this is the end of an era for a lot of people. So that's why this one feel it has a bigger feel. It does. <laughs> but yeah, Alps. What can I say about Alps? 
Like, this is one of the best players in the history right. of this game in North America, for sure. Let's get into it. One of the trickiest players, one, uh, some of the best offense, trickiest neutral, hard to read. All right, so here we go. Alps on Sinanaya, Chase on F. Satsuki. <laughs> we just start round start throw. Both of these players are very vibes, instinctive, read-based players, right? A hundred percent. And you have to make sure your frame traps are tight, because Chase will be pressing buttons. Okay, Chase does press buttons. Yeah, Al Alps was thinking that would whiff. Otherwise, probably would have shielded. So Alps with the crazy Nanaya movement. Like, when Alps is playing Monopoly, he's There playing. it is. That's there what I'm is. saying. There that was is. whiff jump C into land 2C, the F moon landing into that five frame 2C. It's ridiculous. And Chase whiffs an air dash. All right, we're going to see 2C. Two, one. Nope. Alps just sliding around. Alps. Chase is like, nah, I'm mashing. Yeah. I don't believe in it. That's all fake. And um, and this could be it. It's this like oh. you just get one mix-up and win. But yeah, you can be dropping. And here's that F Satsuki pressure. Yeah, and those two twos are, are baits in essence because if you jump, you get six two three C. It's exactly. EX cancelable. Now it's not by Oh Ghost my god. The anti-air two A. You can't have air. a melty butt top eight without two A anti-airing a jump in. And not only a jump in, that was Satsuki jump C. Yo, yeah. Nania players. You're a little carry. Yeah, and Alps knows it too. That's why he does it on purpose. <laughs> he does that dash 2A anti air on purpose. He knows exactly what he's doing. Alps yeah. with a massive meter advantage. It's actually really funny seeing this because Alps is kind of playing like defensive neutral because of, because of the way this matchup is. Exactly. You can't afford to just gamble against this character. And there it is again is that whiff into the 2C just catching, every, catching him off guard. You got to really time your button so well against this character. Chase just taking it slow, trying to find a way in. Yo, what? Alps with the soul DP? Chase was just walking back, and then Alps sees a slight forward movement in DP's half screen. Insane. All right, are we going to convert? One, two, three, four, five, six, Yeah, seven. good luck blocking. I bet you got to watch out way? for wake-up options. You got to guess Pozo. hundred percent. This is combo keeps going. Okay. Oh, there was no mix? Nah, Alps, uh, that was a safe jump, it looked like. There was no mix. Alps just got hit. Yeah, fuzzy guard. Oh, my God, just barely escapes that two cut. Nice up back, Alps. But we got to punish those shields a little better. Chase, oh, big. the big opener, but Chase with the drop. Yeah, that could a little have been 6,000. Poking the overhead. Goes for the 2C. Chase establishing space. Yeah, Chase is looking for that 63, for, but now Alps we're back to There it is. 2-2, two, 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 Into the combo. Conversion. Corner. Yeah, and you cannot burst. And Oki, which way? All right, good block. Good block. Or we are moving, but... Chase just yeah. walks back. Beats the burst. Yo, 2 on four. Alps had the backward DP with the 2-1-4, yeah. but it traded. Oh, my God. That I Alps got so that. lucky on I've that. I've never seen that happen. Get in there. It's crazy. Yeah, that's All a punish. Right. Okay. We're playing Monopoly. Alps like, you got to guess. This is the last 10% of the life bar. You got to yeah, guess. Yeah, Satsuki doesn't have meter. Wow, wake up. Wake up, whiff into buttons once again. And you're going to die. Oh, no, not like that. Chase knew that Alps is too high. Heat. Heat's off of the bite. Oh my god, Alps really went for that. Oh my, that hit stun is crazy. Slide, slide. Chase through these big commits to 3C. Text the grab. Okay, Alps' turn and just staggers into that 2B. Damn, that went down to the wire. It went down to the wire, but it feels like both players are just trying to do massive changes of pace in their game plan. Alps going fast and suddenly just slowing way down. Chase doing yeah. the same thing. Chase um, unfortunately not converting his combos. Yeah, that was a good play, catching Alps on the wood. Oh, wow. Not sure that what that falling shield was, but Alps punishes. Brings Chase back to the corner. Yeah. With the overhead. Yo, the charge, Nania 5C. And you're not supposed to get hit by that, but I was playing Alps. I got hit by it, too, so I can't talk anymore. And Alps just in his element right now, just flowing. Yeah. Going with the game plan. Everything's working. The 2A, no conversion, but yeah. the 5B. Chase is being really, uh, really antsy on defense, pressing a lot. Like, maybe try to EX guard a little bit. Oh, no. Ooh, now we got our reaction on point. Alps wants this tournament. Alps wants this tournament. Oof. But he's getting grabbed. Yeah, still in the range for that grab. That, it, of course, has a ton of it. All right. What are we going to do? Oh, uh, I bet Alps trying to DP. Yes, we are mashing. We just mash out of those. One. Now you got to guess. Nice. It was the Meaty same direction. Eight. Blender again. And yeah, one more guess. This, guess is, for this could be it for Chase. This could be it. Two or four trade. trades. Can you convert that? Oh, just that barely missed. Crazy. An yeah. EX shield into DP. Alps takes it. Alps Moving on DP. in Classic. losers. Classic.
both players just taking their time, looking at the screen, just talking it out after the games. It's all yeah, fun. I mean, there was a lot of drops from Chase, though. There, were, so there it, was a lot of drops. It definitely could have went a different way, but I think in the end, what really mattered was Chase's defense. Like, not choosing to EX guard, especially just in those corner pressures, where it wasn't a left-right mix-up. But, you know, EX guarding against Cena and I, though, that, that's a tall order. I know, but... That when character. you're playing against Cena and I, that's what you got to do, that's right? That's what you got to do. But, you yeah. know, everything's just kind of delayed, and he has it's so many options. Hard. It's hard. It's hard. Nah, yeah, it is super hard. But I would think that would be the major adjustment, right? Right, yeah. right. And also, a lot of those soul reads on the 5Ds that didn't work out. Yeah, I mean, otherwise, Chase was doing really good. I mean, uh, Alps couldn't even pin that landing from FSATs. And Alps is a sniper with all these landings so you got to see that fsats is a problem that's just not just net play that's not just rollback hiding the startup no no it's real it's real it's so dangerous it's... all right so what have we got oh jin stepping up it looks like Jin stepping up yeah so we got jin and josh we got jin and josh Nice. This one is will be super unpredictable. You know what's interesting is that Jin actually has an FSC, but I don't think he's gonna bring her out. I think of course gonna, not. Yeah, of yeah. course not. So you would think in this matchup, C Sui would be favored, right? You would think that, but C Koma has a lot of quick forward movement, especially with that dash two C. Really sure. hard to punish. Just gets it in your space while you're throwing stuff. Yeah. I mean, the thing with the uh, yeah and the low air dash too. So yeah. Sui is not gonna be able to run under very effectively. Yeah. But because of the pots and pans. Jin might need to super jump a lot, which opens up run unders. One big thing in this matchup, though, is that Sikoma's health is a big factor. It is, because uh, Hisui, if you down back her and you just take the grab and reduce it, it does very little. And Especially since she's rebeating all the time, so she's yeah. giving herself that rebeat penalty. Like, if you want to beat Koma with just grabs, it'll take like 12. Exactly. Actually, 12. And it's not Maybe that hard for Koma to just reward gap Hisui. Yes, so just get a hit, hit her. You just got to get in once. But then, you know, Hisui, you got to deal with EX Dust and all of that, too, so. And we saw arc drives earlier and all that. All right, so we're going into it. Yeah, we've never seen these two play. This is, you know, many, how could you, right? Many such cases. Like we, many such cases this event. Like, Jin was crowdfunded to come here. Shout out to Gaku for setting that up. Shout out to Gaku. All right, here we go. F Coma. What do you think the logic is of the F Coma pick? I'm not sure, but I'm thinking maybe it's because we're expecting Hisui to come from the sky a bit and looking for good air-to-airs and anti-airs. Like the jump B from f is really strong, and the 2B. Bates that heat. Yeah, That's Jin what I was talking about with that quick forward movement. It's just so hard to bring what he's going to do. He can just stand there menacingly. And just get mixed. And now, yeah, with Hisui with no meter, she had to just guess. Hisui, no meter, kind of a little bit dangerous. She's got nothing to ensure all of her That's what I'm stuff. saying. Look at that. Like, Jin just positioning perfectly to get a little pressure. And Jin's just like, nope, I'm out of here. Very patient. I'm just going to walk under it. Oh, but sneaks in with the pots, but not quite enough. And Josh getting hit backdashing. That's something we're going to look at later. You got to be careful backdashing in neutral. Both players look like they're still kind of feeling each other out in the neutral. Yeah, really safe play. That shield counter got mad range. Yes. Yo, that was a super respectful mix-up. That was a super respectful heat bait right there. Is he going to steal corner? He steals corner. Josh Doesn't heats off. Heat. And that was a forward air tech, which has no invul. So Josh punishing that. Rekka's. <laughs> Man, I'm trying to stop meaty. Got bunkered. Do you think it could be the 2-3-6-C from F Coma that Jin is looking for? Just blow through all the pots and pans? Possibly, but I'm also seeing, we've seen 2-B put in work. We've seen that high 5 There's that 2-B again. Work. There's the 2-B. He's looking for the 2-B and the jump A. Nice up back on that shield. Just excellent Josh aerial awareness. Yeah. Again, the shield counter missing. Maybe it likes the shield counter, too. In this and Josh matchup. is adapting. He's using the air ladle to stall his land against the 2B. Yeah, you can't 5A against that jump 6B either. That dust is active forever. All right, this is not going to kill, but it's almost... I mean, the life lead is so tremendous, but IH is, could, could no, that actually IH, get... All he's, it's you're going to lose. It's you actually lost. You have to... Okay. Oh, no. Okay, big Josh opening. takes it just by pressing. I bet Jin was probably looking for like heat activation at that point, but Josh is like, I'm just going in. You know, we've been seeing more and more of this melty play where it just goes Ooh. down to the last moment, where the pace of the game is so slow because neither player is giving up their advantage. But now, Jin with the early offense. Yeah, just dropping these f coma combos, however. Oh, nice 5A anti-air. Airbag, that jump C. Josh bursts out. Yeah, it just takes a big spark. It just paces shield, though. 
That's a huge hit, taking all the way to the corner. All right, are we going to see Josh run game plan? Dust, Bento, what's going to happen? Throw, Bento. Look, look at that damage. Hmm. Jin being super patient. Finally, it's, oh, the, the, the water can. Catch it standing. Yo, and there's the air tech air throw. That's why you can't chase too closely against air tech. Jin nice just walking under. forward with the Conqueror's Hockey. They fishing for that landing. Josh pushing Jin back to the corner with a 5C. Jin respecting, gets tagged. Big hit and converts it. It's not going to be enough to kill, but it's guess what game. Yeah, and Coma is not quite No, no, Josh yet. drops, throws out the arc drive. Grabs through. No, it didn't that was work. A good she, that was a good attempt. Yeah, because she's fully invulnerable. She's fully invulnerable. So it's cheap. I would think what Jin was trying to do is just invul through it and maybe not even he was get trying the to grab, through it like but just not get hit. Yeah, yeah. But it's way too active is it's the problem. <laughs> And again, that airborne backdash making it really hard for Koma to, back, to punish. It seemed like in the end it was the round before that really determined it because Jin got that big IH but then went into the final round without the meter. And the patent Josh Tech punish. Jin didn't know. And now you're back in the other corner. No tech this time. Josh baiting out. Yeah, the ladles. The ladles is crazy plus two. How is that? Like TK one? Do it again. Yeah, I mean, the I, I, Jin is going to take the grab. And Jin jumps out. Yeah, get that one EX guard made Josh whiff. Smashing. We mashing. We mashing. And Josh is establishing neutral, creating space. Has a sizable life lead, does not need to go in. He knows oh that. Oh, man, baited Bates the out the shield. shield, no punish. Tried to wreck it through, but it was multi-hit. This, this should be, oh, no, it's not enough. drop and went for an air throw. A Jin forward tech, however, that was punishable. Stuff just happening, but Jin going in with a massive meter advantage. A little yeah. too much meter, actually. Yes, but Josh is on set point. And this is loser side, so Josh could potentially eliminate Jin right now from Osaka. Forces the burst. Catches the back dash, doesn't get a full conversion. Stomp, counter hit. That was a hard call out. The hard oh, no. Oh, whiffs the tech punish. Oh, no. And now his sweet with full meter. We're going to have a situation. Extra yeah. lunch. And Jin has to just play defense. Can't afford to spend the meter. Jin's defense. He knows. He dashed out. He's free. Gets sent back in the corner with jump 2B. Yeah, respecting the pot. Gets the counter hit. But again, just misses the conversion. These unfortunate drops of Jin might end up costing him. Doesn't yeah, take the shield, the shield counter, counter in time. Josh sends him back all the way to the other corner. And Lunch still side. so far away from IH. And just see that walk in and walk out. Oh, the walk in. Yeah, Jin trying to play it safe, but feels like Josh got really good control right now. He's getting a little bit scrambly, though. You got to be careful. EX Dust. Why are you going? You have the big life lead. Just run, bro. Please. Oh, no, run. no. No. Jin with, the, Jin with the Americano. I can't believe it. Nah, I mean, you're throwing pots. You got to be careful. <clears throat> now we can get this life lead back, and Jin is nowhere near. Jin needs to make something happen now. Yeah, there's no way to there's get no help way. back. There's no way. There's no way. It's over. It's over. It's not. It's not enough. It's over. And Jin is eliminated. Jin. Josh will move on. Can this? Yeah. The unknown OD Pimbus? And I mean, we have to say thank you to Jin for coming through and playing all of us too. I got to play Jin as well. I had so much fun. I mean, Jin was one of the favorites to win this event. I would say a lot of people won or thought Jin should be one seed. Climax at night six is crazy, bro. It's crazy. Yes, indeed. It's Who, crazy. Nobody predicted any of this. And you know what else is crazy? We got Alps vs. KFL coming up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alps and KFL, this is a old school classic in old a sense. Old school classic. Where I'm not sure if Alps historically beat KFL, but now Alps is like ascended in the sense. But you know what's interesting though? There has not been as many CRs active in NA as when Alps is most active. Right. Yeah, in the 2016 era, we had so many. We had shout out to Harmful, Enhance, Timon. We had everybody. Shout out to Harmful, bro. I hope you're watching. And now it's just like, who's don't, that? Don't, don't gamble on sports, bro. <laughs> Got some stuff to say about Harmful, but I'll keep it off the screen. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this will be Nania and Searc. I would say Searc is probably this is heavily like, favored. This is, heavily this, is, this is the Ryu versus Ken of Melting Blood. You think so? Because I think it's like Shinakuma versus Ken. You, you, 
think so? I mean, Sea Arc is that powerful, right? She has the like, one of the highest health pool pools, whereas Nani is a uh, on the lower end. She's got no orbs though. I'm just saying. She got the best defense in the entire game. Best defensive options. Some of the most active buttons. I mean, I'm just saying. If, if Sea Arc's so good, where are the results? Where are the results? KFL won climax. Is KFL winning this climax? KFL might win this climax, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the only thing stopping KFL is the amount that people have improved, and if KFL drops combos, like straight up. But he, everybody's been dropping a little bit this time. Sure. Yeah, sure. yeah like we, we've been actually seeing it a lot on stage so far, yeah. Might just be tournament nerves. Yeah, it is, but, it but is order, a big event. But think about this. In order for Alps to kill CR, it's going to take several, several mix-ups. Or he, really can just play, he can just play Monopoly. Yeah, but the Monopoly, you gotta roll the dice so many times. Like eventually you're gonna you're gonna roll the you're gonna get the bad roll. And then he goes straight to jail. You're not gonna get four, five, six every time. <laughs> Alps not picking. Classic home stage for once. Mm -hmm. So let's go. This three. is also East Coast versus West Coast. New York against Cali. Alright, here we go. Of course, no bias. I, we have our commentators. I'm from New York, and you're from Cali. Yeah, no bias at all. But I got root for my boy. I, I mean, I don't like rooting for Nanya, but fair enough. But that is my boy. <laughs> Both players playing Boomer neutral. Yeah, this is where you're gonna see footsies. Boomer Until a hit happens, and really. Yet, but KFL. Nanya's air throw not that good. But if CR hits you, you'll go full screen. KFL somehow already down 90%, and is this round's over? Just dead. And that was just. Boring melty. That was nothing crazy happening. Regular melty. Normal melty. All right, KFL, push some buttons, please. <laughs> there, okay, you there you go. Just fuzzy mashing the half charge. All right, KFL pushing buttons. Overhead. Drops. Yeah, big drop. And the allowing Alps to just land with that C. Oh, there it is. A I heard that's a good frame. button. Yeah, that's like a million frames of active. Got us a stomp rocket. <laughs> All right, block string. Oh, no, no whip punish. Alps with the elbow, no punish. Scramble, good defense. Alps being super patient, not busting out at all yet. I bet that 3B was an OS. And, and really good blocks. Nice, okay, hit the back dash. A lot Gets of times you think you're safe back dashing mid-screen, but Alps will chase you down. All right, is it time? It's not time. Oh man, Alps is Alps corners himself. Gets caught by the delayed Sonic. Yeah, and it's like, where's the life bar? He's like, gonna what happened? KFL with the drop? What's going on? Alps with one more chance, but it's Nanai. Anything can happen. Oh, no counter hit conversion. There's yeah. the soul DP. And we're not going to see a heat. It's not worth it. There's no red health to regenerate. Uh, yeah, you just got to get a couple mix ups. Alps can still make this happen. There you go. Now KFL's forced to guess. Oh, guess baits the DP! Yeah, like that was a situation where you had to guess. There was not enough time, even. Alps right, feeling Alps. himself. Yeah, Alps, Alps popping fist off. pumping. Alps, Alps pops off after every game, but yeah, that was a... Alps pop off in casuals. <laughs> nice fade back C. That's classic neutral. And we got Let's the go. boomer neutral with the neutral jump C. Yeah, people talk about Alps in the mix-up, but that was a misinput. No, bro. Alps. And KFL yeah. finally... Dropping another combo, gets cornered by the DP. Yeah, just busting out. And of course, Nanya has one of the best rewards on DP. Can't from not confirming that Rekka gets carried all the way to the corner by Alps. There we go, there's the heat. I'm gonna regenerate a decent amount. I guess Alps this time getting hit back dashing. Even though Nanya has one of the best, you can still get hit. And that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage for him. All right, good block. EX shield, get out of there. Throws you into the corner. It's Two time to guess. Time to guess, baby. And backdashes this time. Nice punish. DP? There it is! I knew it. Alps, why? <laughs> I knew it. The thing I is, it's like, it. I feel like you could... <laughs> Alps, you could EX cancel it. He might have been going for that, actually. He might have messed it up. Nice mash. <laughs> now now we're playing Melty Blood. Now we're playing Melty We saw Blood. the boomer neutral. Now you're oh, seeing no. the silly stuff. All right. What's going to happen? Monopoly? We're gonna Hell guess? yeah. Hell yeah, you're going to guess. Shout out to Butterfree. All right, let's get it. None of those half-charge 5Bs have gone through so far. 
Yeah, I mean, one worked in the first round, the half charge into the low, but ever since, Alps has blocked all of them. And so far, Alps has been very careful with his teleport not to get oh, that front to jump beat. Again, hitting the back dash once again. That's like the fourth time. All right. We're going to start guessing. Yeah, and Arc doesn't have meters, so you should just go for it. Oh, that was a big whiff on the shield, but no punish. Like another back dash this nice time. Nice back dash. KFL taking all the way to the corner. 2A. Five Any K. arc hit in takes the you to the corner. It's crazy. 2A, 5K in the corner. Behind? Which way? I thought it was behind. What the? Okay. Oh, big punch on the slide with jump 2B. Yeah, this is huge. And yeah, that's all valid. Why? It's insane. Why? Kamone, are you watching? What did you do? No Let's fear go. DP. And that throw was not reduced. That did mad damage. Alps on verge of taking out KFL. Please, KFL, <laughs> show some signs of life. West Coast can't go out like this. Let's go, bro. We got this. Show the slashing hands. <laughs> KFL probably messed up against guard right there. Right now, Alps is just moving perfectly. He's moving perfectly right around where KFL wants to be. Oh, what a backdash on that Rekka. Oh my god. Why Alps, not, bro? I Alps got the meter. He's in max. Why, There's why no not? Reason not? Do it do again. It. All right, we could bust out too. Again, another good block. Anytime Arc presses 5B, it's scary. <laughs> and now we're coming across one of the weaknesses of KFL's playstyle is that I think he's just playing too solid. Like, he's not doing anything crazy. So Alps is like, I'm not scared of what you're doing. Hold yeah, this 2 3 6 yeah. C. 2 C into whatever this, this is. This could be guess for game. Guess for game. And Face the heat out in the same way again, and that's going to be it. Let's go. Alps with the pop off, and KFL see me after class. So Alps will move on, and I'm assuming now it's Josh. Or, we, you know, we might do our. We might do a break. Not, yeah. We're going to have a break. We're going to yeah. have a quick break. Alps versus Joss is actually going to be interesting, though, when That's we do come back. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. Alps is saying, I'm not, I'm not not like super confident against Josh, is because Josh knows how to dance. And you saw the way Alps is playing, though. The crazy thing about Alps yeah. is that he knows how to turn it up and down when he needs to. Like, when Alps is feeling himself, he's just like, okay, I'm going to be everywhere on the screen. But then we just saw that where he was moving so no, this deliberately. Is the, and this carefully. is the best I've ever seen Alps play. I mean, if there's going like to be a time, up. this is the time. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, this is the moment, right? This, this is, is Climax of Night. When are you going to have this opportunity again? Exactly, exactly. Like, it's either today or possibly never again. You never know. And not at this stakes, like the, what, like almost 200 entrants, all, all almost the stuff that we talked about. This is a big tournament. Yeah, I'll certainly be coming through when it matters. Yeah. All right, so what do we got? All right, so yeah, we're going to take a quick break, so we'll be back after this. All right, see you soon. See Climax of Night 6. I'm Belrisa. This is JG. Yeah, how are you doing? How's everyone doing? Yeah, I mean, we are pretty deep into the top eight. It's been pretty crazy so far, and now we are going to have our winner's finals. Uh, the top one American player skeleton against one of the best Japanese multiple players ever. Ever. Moai. Yeah. Moai, not just a mix-up master, also super solid neutral, incredible DPs as well, and not actually not afraid to die. Embraces death, kind of like Sam Show. It'd be so funny if Skeleton actually went with h but that's not gonna happen. Nah, I mean Skeleton, you gotta go with your. You gotta pick you your know character. You know it's Koma. You know it's Koma it's all Koma. the way. Koma, it's Koma brought all the way. you here. So see Koma, see Satsuki. Yeah, and I mean, it actually is kind of a toss-up, like. I kind of believe in Skeleton, honestly. Like, you know, it just feels that way. When I heard that Moe was actually grinding for this event, I was thinking, yeah, he's grinding for the Satsuki Koma route. Of course. Yeah, because <laughs> oh, yeah. Gotta, you got to adjust on this character. All right, so here we go. Yeah, so we're going to see a lot of clean movement in this, too. And there it is. That's how you beat that kind of a movement with the jump back while, the, while Koma is back turn. Can't hit when you're back turn like that. Both players just moving around quickly. Oh, went for a reset, trying to look for a ground reduce, but Skeleton not ground reducing. Skeleton knows. We we know that. Yeah, Skeleton knows all the inning tactics. Moy with the cheeky knowledge check. Early nice on, block. Chicken blocks the 2-2-8. Two, two, Awareness so good so far. Yeah, look at player. this. Look how much time went off the clock, and look how much damage is on the table. This is like the first like real significant hit. All right, Skeleton drawing first blood. Going in. Yeah, keeping it simple. Keeping it simple, keeping it short, baiting it out. Waiting for a response from Moai. Moai does not bite. You're lucky oh, that wasn't right. Shield. No punish. 
jumps out of our charges. Oh see. my god, good thing for Skeleton teching late there. Otherwise, if you tech right away, you would be at grab. Again, again, and... All right, let's see what kind of tech you have. Oh, oh no! So Moai was just slightly late. That usually does anti air really well. But somehow, Moai. I mean, yeah, it's not, it's not Moai instant. Moai getting sabotaged by the stream? Is it the stream setup? What's happening? Nah, that's the, that's the power of Skeleton playing Koma. It's when skeleton, skeleton presses jump C, it's different. It's the Skeleton. And look at that Marvel. dash what under. What a dash under. That's Koma dashing under. That's a big boy. Skeleton oh. was going for that air throw. Yeah. You know that air throw was coming. Yeah, and that was like a good like air tick throw attempt. It just didn't work out. Good jump B. Thank God. Thankfully, it wasn't a counter hit. Like, that's what Moai is looking for. Rapid right. series of interactions. Yeah, here we go. This is the first, like, big hit for Moai to set up mix-up. Did you see what the uh, situation was leading up to that? Both players just reading each other two, three steps Ooh. in advance. <laughs> oh, my Guard God. break 5A. Those have been so on point for Moai the entire weekend. And now we've got to guess. Good block. And look at look at Koma's health. Koma got mad health. Took that mix up before and is okay. Skeleton maintaining this corner pressure. Oh, we have gold air. Yeah, so you see Moy reacts to the initial jump startup and expects air dash, but Skeleton just did a TK dive kick. Yeah, both players have been reading each other like crazy. They were playing casuals. They have a decent yeah. read on each other's habits. That's you it. Game see one that coming out in these adaptations, and Skeleton takes game one. Yeah, and don't forget, this is winner's final, so it's a first of three. As expected. Skeleton taking that first game. Looking, Nero! Looking pretty chill. All right, you can play Nero. Shout out to Webb. The thing is, Skeleton has a ton of experience in this matchup. Yeah, Skeleton's played this matchup a couple times, I think. But it is a, it is one of Koma's worst matchups, period. But the real question is, Look at that. <laughs> does Moai have what it yeah, takes like, to Yeah, have you been Skeleton? practicing Nero? Or are you just like... All right. Don't let Nero win, man. Are you a, do we really want Nero in Grand Finals? We crowdfunded Nero in Grand Finals. I mean, sometimes you just got to see the truth of Melty Blood. Damn. Moai busting out with the 2A mass, setting up the little bit of pressure. But so far, Moai has not been too solid on the conversions. We're not seeing a lot of the corner carry into the corner set play. Yeah, I mean, Skeleton's seen optimized Koma, or, uh, Nero, optimized right? Nero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, unless you got the craziest mix-up, Skeleton's fine blocking. All right. And, and we're dropping the, the ender. Jump and we punish the jump C, just no conversion. It was too far. Moai just mashing that, the ant arm. We can get out of there, right? No tech. Yeah, Skeleton dropping, just dropping. The skeleton like let go of the controller pretty much. Let's see what we got here. All Try to meter. dash guard. No, nothing to do with it. And yeah, two hit jumpy. That's cheap. It's hard to see. Yeah, because he could go low at any point. There we go. Catch that landing. And Nero's turned around for extra damage. You get extra damage on back turn? I think so. Oh, All just right, mashes out that wake-up deer. Skeleton, you know better. Avoid that deer. All right, no conversion. Will we get chomped? Chomped again. <laughs> Do you think Skeleton was expecting this pick at all? I mean, probably a little bit, but not totally, because Moai has been only playing Satsuki all weekend. Skeleton just finishing the combo, does not care. Not even attempt at jump canceling. Yeah, it's a little unusual. I think Skeleton's looking for something specific. There it is, bust and out. Yes, uh, it was funny, because that move, Skeleton used it against me, and then Chen was labbing what moves that beats from a distance, and there's another one, there's another one. Moai just walking in, mogging with 5B. Nice, Skeleton getting out of there. But again, getting chopped a little bit, not, not a big deal. Anton. Dash, take your turn back. Dash, there it is. There's the punish. You can't just summon for free against me. All right, now Nero's in the blender. No option select on that wake up. Huh, I mean, you can, can you not? Uh, oh, no, Skeleton with the, the jump cancel. Moai's conversions on Nero have not been looking too solid so far. Yeah, I'm thinking if Moai loses, maybe we're see Satsuki again. Oh, oh yeah, the hold that. he gets destroyed. Hold that. Hold that, Moai. Are we going to see a guess for game situation? I mean, max mode? Skeleton being in max is very dangerous for Moai. Oh, that, no. oh, that could have been death. Oh, that one too. Moai's flailing. Yeah, Moai might bust out soon, though. Uh, we're getting in with the, these jump-ins, putting out the, the crows. Just avoids the crows entirely. Yeah, Skeleton playing super safe. A lot of shot for the guard break. Oh! oh my god, what a play. 
Homa still got the life lead, by the way. Moai was baiting some weak response to forcing lifts. Put, that's footsies. That's footsies. Yeah, we almost had a 2009 moment there when you when you when you bust it out on the mic. It popped in my ear. <laughs> Shout out to classic FGC streams. All right, Moai thinking Moe's about it. Taking a moment. Thinking Go about back it. to Satsuki. He's like, yeah, okay, Nero's not the one. I'm not the next one. Satsuki Ben. Yeah, really, really taking his time. Giving the Moe thumbs gives up. gives the thumbs up. That means we're seeing Sats. We're seeing Sats. This is what the people want anyway. But this is 2-0. It's 2-0. Skeleton one away. Don't you cannot. No one can ever sleep on Skeleton ever again if Skeleton takes this right now. I mean, there's still the grand finals, but you Skeleton know what I'm saying. Out. I wonder what Moy's thinking. What's going through his head? He's like, mm. how do I beat this American coma? <laughs> what 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 is this coma doing so differently? Skeleton with the cheeky 5D again. Yo, everybody on, gets got. Everybody no, you gets got. Better than that. Moy whiffing a little bit, looking a little bit shooken. Yeah, and going for these air throws as yeah. well. He's been going for a lot of those soul air throws. I don't know about those. They haven't been working out too well against Skeleton. I can't believe that OTG is not, is like a real combo, no yeah. invalid. <laughs> nah, you're not getting me with the half charge. Let's go Skeleton getting the hit. Just didn't expect it. A little bit of footsies. Just mad dogging with the There's dash 5 the yeah, It's all right. That's big. Koma's got this. Koma can survive. EX bite. Yeah, you still got to guess. Again? Again? He's expecting, yeah, expecting you know, Skeleton to just down back. That's kind of where we're at, where more I feel yeah, like... Yeah, but look at the, look at the, the meter, the meter is not very good. He can't open up Skeleton, so now he's at a huge but, meter disadvantage. And yes, but maybe Moai did it because that was round one. So by the time, even if you lose this round, you're going to probably build a lot of that bar back. But it could be a sign round. of the mental game where he's like, I don't know how to open Skeleton up. i got to resort to the bite. Right, and at this point, if Skeleton wins really quick... Oh, oh. that could have been bad. And look at and this. That is bad. Look at Moi this. Moi just gambling. Moi's going into round three with not even 100%. Yeah. That strategy did not work no, out. No, because Moi was gambling like crazy on defense there in the corner. We're seeing Moi crumble in real time. What's going to happen? Those air techs are very risky. That's Big a good trade, trade for Skeleton. Yeah, it's a good trade. 5-8, but no meter. No EX grab. Finally, not a single one of those, Yeah, not a single half charge 5C has gone through so far. Skeleton's reflex are just way, way too good. Yeah, and we got max mode. That TK kick is plus, by the way. Getting underneath. Uh, just didn't know which side. Back dash. Jumps over. Good block. Oh, just Satsuki whiffing that 2B, but that 2B is so low recovery. Does a 2B whiff for the frame kill. Ah, uh, just gets hit. So I got hit standing by the jump in. All right. That's one. What's going to happen? Yeah, now Skeleton is on the meter disadvantage. And guessed again with the... And Moy tries for the reset. Doesn't go through. Drops the jump C link. And bet it all on shields to Skeleton getting out of the way. I think Skeleton could do this. I think it's I think, I think, think it's still winnable. It's still winnable. That's and one. We start, we start with that. And that's the meter gone. Oh, all right, no. All right, all right. All right, all right. All right. Moy, finally all bring right. it back. Moy, bring it back. I don't know. Moy, I, Moy's choices... There's and some especially interesting in choices here. Yeah. And in the air, they're super yeah. risky. Yeah, there are some interesting choices so, so far. If Skeleton plays it patiently in those situations, I think Moai's might be in trouble. Hmm. But you never know. I, the tide is turning a little bit the right now. The tide is turning a little bit. Moai got Skeleton in the corner. Pressuring. Gets thrown. Skeleton with the big bust out. Moai yeah, returning to the bunker. bunker. No fear. Hmm. Both players with no meter at this point. Plenty of time on the clock. Moy with the jump A yeah, counter hit. That was excellent jump A. Intercepting that double jump. And again, again with the bite. But no more meter. We've seen this situation before in the That's previous game. I think Skeleton can make this happen. It's Skeleton. Oh, oh no! That was another 2A anti air. The 2A anti air on C Sots? <laughs> oh my god. Expect anything in this game. Nice. Oh, big one hit counter hit. Right into the loops. Oh man. A skeleton's been blocking all the mix up though, and even continues to do so. And escapes the B grab. Very slow, deliberate Ooh. stagger block springs. 
Oh, he fails the conversion. Whiffs the air throw again. Does not yeah, seem to care that he's whiffing those air throws. You see that Skeleton baited that 2-2 with that late air dash back. Now Moy is going crazy. That was kind of ridiculous, that actually. That was ridiculous. And here's a Our drive set up. What's going to happen? <laughs> That's it. It does mad damage. And now all of a sudden, all of a sudden, we are at 2-2. Yeah, like a moment ago, I was like, Skeleton up 2-0, now we're tied. What's happening? The adaptations, the downward speed. Just stick to playing solid, you got it. Both players taking a moment. Skeleton deep in thought, presses once again. Now Moai is playing a little more aggressively too, right? Like showing a lot more air dash. Like yeah, what I saw was that that last round, Moai is playing way more aggressively. Skeleton's, oh no. Oh yes. Oh, what a scramble. <laughs> Can we not whiff cancel against that too? Again, all these air dash resets, caught catch cells and press some buttons. I think Moy finally noticed that the uh, the whiff air throws against the air dash wasn't working. Decides to switch up the strats to the oh and a, just as like I say that the commentator's curse. He's going back in the corner. That's a tech punish. That is a tech punish. He Actually, is you have to neutral tech from that this. We do it again. Do it again. Yo, Dude, the skeleton. the skeleton! Oh my. Signature skeleton. Everyone in North America has been hit by that. Get in there. Get in there. Okay, okay. More I had enough of this. But a huge drop. Huge drop. That could be it. But watch oh you're... no! Yes, we are fading away. You... Moai keeps seeing Not that even lingering. Moai is immune to the Americano. So yeah, Moai sees Skeleton lingering in the air, but Skeleton, as soon as he saw Moai going in, oh, what, air what dash back. What a whiff punish on a 2C. Oh, big shield whiff. Jump C opener from Skeleton. That's going to be 5K. Nice. Can we do this? 2-2. Two, two. Both players just swinging. Yeah, I mean, Skeleton not afraid to take the hit from the reversal. Gets the that's okay. Yeah, that, that's okay. That's, that's not, not that, that bad. bad. That's oh, not good. That's bad. That's fine. That's fine. That's, that's fine. not fine. It's good. It's still good. There we go. Let's get it. It's still good. Back to neutral. Oh man, that was super dangerous. Sky. So Skeleton many finally blocking the jump. Oh, the reset doesn't work again. Oh no, oh, no. the B grab. This is gonna do a lot. There's no way it kills Coma, right? And not nope. if you drop. And there's a two-two. You gotta know. We are Skeleton, down to know. last know. round. Air Skeleton could have still did like an air dodge to stall or a dive kick to stall a little bit. The crowd going crazy. Skeleton. 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 Skeleton Everyone wants really to see an NA dub. Skeleton really all over Moai. Oh, no. Moai finally intercepting. But Moai doesn't get the correct route. Skeleton presses out of the command grab. Come on. Nice conversion on that no tech. But we get mashed. The jump A's from both players in this set have been just absolutely crazy. Just the spacing. The jump A's, the jump B's. Nice. Nice. Skeleton time. And baiting. Oh, and a big counter what hit. A bait. We're going to get one. some good damage or decent enough on sads. Hot foot? No hot foot. Yeah, only a couple hits away, too. All right. This might be it. Guess your game? Hard bait. Oh, no. Uh, eventually goes in and gets shielded. Oh no, the setup! Do something, do something, do something. No! It worked! It worked! It worked! Oh, it's gonna be one more hit. Guess and Blood Heat is still on the table, okay? Moai still with Moai you. Moai mashing on, on. Oh my god. Oh my god. We're, we're going down to the last moment. We're going down to the last mix. Oh, oh no, not like this. Not it, like this. Not like this. Big drop. Big drop. Oh my god, are not you kidding like this. me? Wow. A series of unfortunate scrambles leads to Moai taking it over Skeleton. Yeah. So we're going to have Moai sitting in winner's side grand final. So if you want to win, you got to go through C. Sotsky from Big One Arcade. Shout out to Big One. Oh, hell yeah. Like, uh, oh, there's so many amazing Japanese arcades. Yeah. And well. if you go to Big One, Good luck. Your yen will be lost. All those arcades over the years holding it down for Melty. Shout outs to Mikado. Shout outs to Athena Nihonbashi. Shout outs to Big One. Big One site. Sure. And wow, that was that, unbelievable. That was, that, that was a hot one. That was a barn burner. Was, I mean, Good Lord. How close was that? I feel like 
on ring wide, but because of the input delay, we are, we're not able to see the speed of the decision making that we're seeing in these games right now. Look, there's so many decisions. Six, seven decisions <laughs> in the span of half a second. Yeah, I mean, well, we'll see who's going to face Moai soon. But first, we've got to get Alps and Pimbus. Josh. Pimbus the wizard. The entire crowd cheering against Alps? Nah, they, they can hold that. Alps is sick. So, Sina Naya and C. Hisui. Interesting yeah. matchup. Yeah, I mean, the, it's going to be on Alps to get in, in essence. But it depends how Josh plays. Like, if Josh wants to scramble, they can scramble. But I feel like that might favor Alps. You know, the thing is, Josh is not a known scrambler. But his set play is pretty good. His set play is Sure. Neutral. I mean, we'll see. Because I feel like Josh is not necessarily like a lame player. Like, he's very active and neutral. He is very active, yes. You remember when he was doing that jump six B stuff, which cuts the landing? And I know. And you can't tag it because the clouds just sits there. Yeah, Jeez. it's like fading back with that on the yeah, air. Yeah, the, dash the, back fade, the is fadeaway insane. air dust. It's cheap. Cheap. All right, where are we yeah, going? Yeah, I don't know. Alps got kind of protagonist power up earlier. We're going to the Rose Garden? All right. All right, here we go. Alps versus Pimbus. Alps is chilling. <laughs> There we go, some pots and pans, we shield it, but unfortunately the other one hits. Like Alps got the, dude, Alps picked to C Tono, are you kidding me, bro? You C put Tono? everything on C Tono right now? He bet everything on C Tono? What's the logic behind this decision? There is none. Maybe you have a little more health to take more grabs. Was it I don't the know. 2C? Was it the TP? The, I have no the, idea. I, I don't understand. Alps trying to walk out the corner, can't do it. Try to mash, didn't quite get it. Yeah, I just don't understand this punish. position. Oh, there is a punish. But, you know, C-Tona's reward is just not necessarily that high. Yeah, I'm not, I, I, I don't know. I mean, Alps has really good pressure with C-Tona, however. All right, well, that's one opening. But he's just got such a long way to go. And Hisui is so good. I keep nice. baits out Eight. the burst, no big punish. Hits Catches the back dash. The back dash. Arc, arc drive. He's going to throw out the arc drive. There it is. We all knew. We all knew. We all knew. Just throw it out there. Just do it. All right, play safe, Alps. Flying in. Wow, you would try to shield back, which is kind of smart, but it Alps is, smart. is not biting. No, you try, you try to get on the same Yomi level as Alps. It's <laughs> kind of hard. Alps. Yeah. Oh, oh, no, the dust backwards, back turn. Doesn't know how to punish Tonos. He DP. doesn't know. He doesn't know. You getting knowledge check in top eight. Is that Come it? On, is bro. that why? No, no way, no way. No, Josh, Josh is going to be able to bring it back. He's got he's to figure this out. I'm not going to say it out loud because they put me on the mic on loudspeaker. I'm not telling you how to punish it, brother. Let's go, Alps. Yeah, not yeah. a single one of those bases has gone through. Alps just like, no, I'm just going to. Ooh, how did that not hit? Doesn't mean anything to me. Oh. Uh, yeah, Alps, a lot of times on C, Tono likes the shield more than when playing Nanya. Because yeah, Nanya, that the, would just be a, a DP. And the dust takes a little bit to come out, baiting the shield out. Now Alps is in the corner, holding all this pressure. Pressure reset with the base. Yeah, Alps is chilling, though. Alps is chilling, yeah, because none of this really means anything. And extends the pressure with the X dust yet again. Alps not even EX guarding. Might have to start a, a little bit. <laughs> he just did, but now his guard right, bar's running the, low. Get out of there. Another Let's pressure reset gets... That's a counter hit confirm into an air combo off yeah. the slide. Yeah, that was a sick shield and Goofy slide. character. Yeah, this dusts are really helping Josh quite a bit. And now Hisui with all the meter in the world. Dust? No dust. There's Get the out of there. Alps, Alps just is sitting, though. He's just sitting. He's blocking. He can't do anything against any of this. Oh, gets tripped by the water can. Get out of there, brother. He can't. He can't. There we go. He's getting fenced off by everything. His way's over here, busting out all the contents She's, of the mansion. That was a big whiff, though. And now there's not, yes, there's not enough out. time. There's not enough time. It's so crazy the ladle has no recovery. <laughs> there's not enough. There's no way. Yeah, but it's fine. Like, you go into the final round now. Yep. Both players just, you know, phoning it in until time runs out. Going to round three. All right. So Josh with the huge timeout. Hisui barely took any damage. <laughs> Alps is going to have to make a major adjustment to actually start going in, make something happen, but huh. he gets opened up by the 2A. So Alps has to notice every time Josh is landing, landing into a backdash. So maybe try to uh, look to beat the backdashes. All right, gets thrown. Needy 5B, gets thrown. He gets tagged by the Bento. Yeah, like if you're going to mash on the Bento, mash and then do mash a bunker. Yeah, he might have been trying to do mash bunker. More food. More food. Do it again. Yo, he did wake up dash grab. And that's messed up. The Bento's still there. He couldn't push a button. Big hit. Big punish. Finally. Alps needs a heat, though. He's, he was looking for the heat, but he was afraid to heat right there because his yeah. weakness just came down. Yeah, Josh tech properly. Interesting. And All Alps right. had to avoid it because of the dust cloud. 
Nice air throw. Nice air throw. On Josh is face. really running right now. He is running because he knows he doesn't need to do anything. Punish. Beautiful. Is he going to make something happen? Baiting out the heat. Baiting it out. Both players get their heats. Let's get over that. Oh, oh yo, what a read. What a counter hit. Alps just knew that Josh was going to chase. Alps playing the long game, and now he's got the life lead with only 20 seconds left on the clock. So now Alps just has to play solid. But you got to be careful when, gotta you, be try, careful. when you play too no, defensive. His, just match. We take those. We take the trade. We take Yo, the trade. See, Tono Shiki. And that's what I was saying. Alps has the future side. He can see the game state five, six steps <laughs> ahead. He set up that entire round to win by timeout. He knows. Incredible. In losers top eight, really betting it on C Tono. And making it work so far. So far. Nice chase down. Josh has been jumping a lot after like air guarding. I would recommend uh, air guard super double jump instead of air guard back jump. But now Alps is in the corner, having to deal with this game plan again. Yeah, but Alps isn't mine, and Alps is busting out. Why you know, not? I don't think a single one of those DPs has gone actually fully punished yet. Nice sneaky slide. Alps' choice on DP is just way too good at, on this game. Pressure reset, no Again, good. slide. Is that what the secret weapon was? Josh is going to need to make an adjustment. He knew that Josh was going to go for the pressure resets, and he has his plan against it. He was using slide. Backdash into arc drive. Pretty cheap. Again, Alps Again is Again with the DP. Watch the backdash. Yep. Hit that backdash. Let's go. He's going to backdash again. He, he already know. That's, that's plus. <laughs> I know, and even, there it is again, slide, but no we, damage. We can see it happening. Alps Back. in real time. He's figuring out the game plan. He's starting to answer every single one of these things that Josh is doing. Catches the jump out. Okay, there's the heat. Clock is stop. We're just waiting for the arc drive. And Alps jumped into the bento. No arc and now drive. Now stuck in the corner. Alps choosing the mash. Oh, the back dash. Get those back dashes. Get it. Just a little bit too far. That time the slide is punished. Alps. Hero burst from Alps. Overhead. He gets it on the overhead, but there's not enough. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, no combo. I was just walking under very slowly. Looks Barely like catches that back dash with the 2B. Catches now, it again. We got to see if that burst was worth it. Like, I mean, the only way is that you got to win this round right now. I was built that meter back pretty fast, though. Josh has just been holding up in the corner. Oh, so a new counter. option. No more slide. I'll do the, the slash. Yep. Wake up bunker works out. Yeah. Alps almost baited it. No conversion on that 5C. Oh, Alps with a dash, dash under. under. OTG. OTG. No 236. Is still baiting the heat with those back dashes. Oh, he whiffs the OTG. Oh, that was it. Yeah. yeah. We, so we knew Josh, Josh could have just disengaged but chose to get back in Alps' face. And Josh looks like he's lost in this maze of interactions. He just, Alps has presented a solution. Now he's slowly sealing off all the options that Josh has been using. Nice movement from both players, however. There's that DP again. You might as well do it. I mean, we haven't even seen Josh be able to punish it that one time. Exactly. That Josh, blocked jo it. Josh has not been punishing, so Alps is just letting it rip every single time, just again. like the slide right there. Goes for the overhead again. Back dash. But you notice that Josh is playing defensively now. <laughs> yeah. Alps is looking for that arc drive. There it is. That's fine. Now you have no meter. We're going to see a slide. There's the slide. And he's got the hit anyway. That's the first time we see EX Shield from Josh. Take it to the corner. It's a good down. So even though Josh has game plan here, it's not been that effective. And we notice that he's switching his Bento Oki into the, the falling Air Cloud Oki. Right there. Right. He, he's afraid of that DP. Ooh. And Alps is ground text. Man, Alps. Josh is trying to grind down. Better. Going for the air reset. No dice. Alps knows about that trick. But Josh has finally been grinding Alps down in the corner. And now yeah. he's on his last 5% with the heat. A lot of life recovery possible right now. EXDP Ender for damage. 2-2-C. Stays back on the ground. He's repositioning. Beautiful. Beautiful jump a counter hit. Where are you going? And now we're in the same situation again where there's not enough time. Watch out for Archer. Josh needs to make something Air happen, dodge. but now he has Air no meter. He has no time. He can't make anything happen. Kill. Anti-air 5A? Are you kidding me? It's alive. You're alive, but you just Why, hold but down it back. doesn't matter. There's nothing. Down back. Down back. Just down back. There's nothing you can do. 
Let's go. Alps with the unprecedented game plan, laming it out with C Tono in top was, eight. And it was such a unique way to play the matchup. Just out of the box thinking. Yes, out of the, I think it, of it took me off. I was not expecting that. Yeah, a lot of unique uses of shield into special moves. And that that's what we've been seeing this entire time. Like all the new players, they play their characters, but they understand their characters to a degree where there's all these interactions that if you don't know the matchup, they will just walk all over yeah. you with and these niche interactions. Alps really showed why Tono was a pick. So say like if Nania got those shields at those distances, Nania doesn't have moves He's got nothing. move forward like exactly. that that can burn into a combo. Yeah, that 2-3-6-C especially was huge in catching that backdash. Because right. you just want to catch that backdash and get her to sit down so you can do stuff. Right. And that was that was well fought and well played by both players. That like, was that was well played. Josh is pretty ridiculous. Josh is ridiculous, but Alps is neutral. Made yeah. him just look like he had no okay. options. Crazy. And now we have New York against New York. The final of remaining Americans are from New York. We are still the best region. Hold that, everybody. Shout outs to New York, Tinchi, and me. Coma, everyone. Uh, yeah, Kamina. Kamina. All the, all the old school players. All the old school players. Kamina was here. Kamina is here. I love my boy Kamina. But yeah, New York is still the best. Midwest, what? Y'all talking so much. Look who's sitting on the stage. Now the crowd is quiet. <laughs> yeah, hold that. <laughs> All right, uh, Lunar Phase Classic. Yeah, I mean, earlier, Skeleton won. Can Skeleton win now? Of course. So, I mean, they've definitely have gone back and forward, so we'll see. Y'all yeah, aren't doing this. <clears throat> right now, Skeleton has the upper hand. Don't worry, we won't see it. This really is a tournament to see if Skeleton's just top one. Yeah, I mean, I feel like either player has a good chance against Bullet and Hard. But yeah, this one, it could go either way. and It'll be heartbreaking for whoever loses. Heartbreaking. But this truly is it. Heartbreaking. We're coming down to the last moments in this tournament. So we've got Skeleton versus Alps. And this is the stage that they both love. I feel like this stage favors the skeleton a little more, though. <laughs> the stage buff? Alps drawing early blood, but it's going to be a long set. But this is Alps' mansion. Nice catching, the, with catching like backward movement, maybe a jump. Three openings so far. Skeleton still downloading. Like Alps' pressure game and mind games with pressure is top one. Interesting like, up. decision. <laughs> it was. <laughs> oh, that was the a left, mix up. right. Let's go straight to the corner. And the spike in And the heat set up? Nope, nothing. Skeleton Big is grab. not scared. Going, there's the heat. Baiting out the DP. Yeah, fuzzy 5A. Oh, oh no, that would have killed. Whiff. Alps can bring it back. Oh, but it's better hero all. burst from Alps. Alps wants this round. Alps believes, Alps believes. It's Alps. too risky. Oh my god, 2C wait into 2A. Are you kidding me? Are you really going to do it, Alps? Are you really doing it? Are we doing this? Jesus. Oh my god, Alps. What a comeback. That was so risky, that burst, too. Alps made it worth it. Just busting oh, out. Just bust. Oh, are we seeing full confidence, Alps? <laughs> there we go. All right, but a huge drop from Skeleton. No, Alps has been finding his marks every single time so far. Ooh, catching the back dash. A nice stuff from Skeleton. Again, Those I will not take any pressure. Those so on point. And we're, are we playing Monopoly? We're playing Monopoly. Will Skeleton make a guess? Throw. But it will get punished anyway. DP, OTG, specific combo, into an Drops it. Dashes in and Skeleton gets a hit. Last hit for both players. Patient defense. Didn't reduce the grab. Oh, no. Wake up bunkers. Bakes get punished. the bunker. Alps really gambled it all. Like, you would have to expect that Skeleton's looking to bait a DP, and that would also naturally bait the bunker. Both players looking to bait each other's responses. Alps really Alps playing a little super bit. Spa super safe until that landing did not guard. <laughs> backdash yeah, forward, dash on there. Dash. Oh, what amazing EF guards. Look at these footsies. <laughs> The skeleton uh, uh, really thinking that Alps is really going to just dash in like that. He's whipping those two Cs. Skeleton with the fuzzy 5A. Gets opened up. 2, 3, 6. What are we going to see here? I feel like Skeleton is just going to... Oh, oh man, Alps down. mess up the timing because probably Coma wake up too slow. It's still Four, very even. Time. Very even on both players' sides right now. Oh, big 2A trade. trade. Not a bad trade. Aaron it's Buck a guard break. 
Misses the guard break. Oof. Out of range of the command grab. Air throw. Catch a skeleton whipping that jump E. Is it Monopoly time? Messes up. Heat is in play. Reversals are in play. You gotta be careful, and that's a big hit. Is that it? Chat, will it kill? Will it kill, chat? It's gonna kill. It's gonna kill. That's crazy that EX Shield allows that much damage. Skeleton with game one. Alps thinking. Yeah, I mean, Alps deep all in Alps need to do in situations like Pondering. that is maybe also represent air dodge just to bait the shield option. Debating the Mayan Ley Lines. Because you're like lingering in the air trying to avoid coma, and you use all your air options. At that point, you're kind of like in a bad spot. So just try, try it. All right, here we go. Alp, how is he on with, still, with those DB? How is he doing that? This is how we start games. This is how Alps feels. All I can say about Alps right now is that Lunacy Look no longer lurks <laughs> in the darkness. We mashing 2A. Look at the Alps baits with the fastball. Oh no, but oh. that's a... All that fancy cardinal. movement and you just get popped yeah, by and a that jump was a, Yeah, that was a big mistake of neutral. When your air, opponent's airborne, backdashing like that, if they air dash at you, you're done. And that's this could be the round. That's going to be it. So like Alps with one key mistake and you just absolutely get obliterated. You got to be really careful. Again with the air throw. Alps scouting the movement out, cornering Skeleton. Skeleton did so good with those mash outs. Forces the burst from Alps. Yeah, and a really delayed burst. Interesting that Skeleton EX guarded that 2 and 4, and neither player opted for the minigame afterwards. This time, Alps falls with nothing, beats the shield. You gotta be careful the next time that happens, because Skeleton will fuzzy 5A instead of shield. Yep. That's the thing about Skeleton, you just cannot do the same thing twice ever. It just does not work. It happened though, right there. The adaptation. <laughs> Commentator's curse. Uh, Alps trying to steal frames, fastball dash, it didn't work out. Skeleton ready. And so far, Skeleton just being right, as always. Just being right on every interaction. That's the game plan, just be right. Alps just dropping that combo, and that Skeleton gets in, and all it's 2-0 Skeleton. 2-0 Skeleton. Skeleton wants more. Alps going right back into it, no, thought, no thinking this time. No thoughts. No thoughts. Head empty. Head empty. <laughs> well, showing that shield early. Skeleton in there, getting corner position. I knew that was coming. <laughs> I, I forgot that he does that every time. I he does it every time, yeah. But yeah, the, the counter mash of Skeleton has just been too good. Every time Alps goes in, it's just been met with a 2A, 2C. Overhead lands. Alps fast has ball, no fast fear ball. of losing. Down 2-0, DPing on wake up every time. Oh no. Drop combo from... Throw back to the corner. Alps just kind of trying to go crazy, trying to create this crazy pace on the round. Manages to take one. All right, good round from Alps. Let's see if Alps can bring this back. It's a long road. It is a very long road. Scramble. <laughs> Both of the players disengaging. Big hit. And get the down. Kind of a not great down. Not a great down. I think Alps is thinking about the Oki options a little bit. Yeah, and but there Alps caught. yeah whips the jump A all the way to the corner. Now skeleton time. 2-2 two, two, Ants here. And you know, that's just the Melty Blood trap. Isn't it? It's like, oh, I'm just going to air tag in the corner. What's the worst that could happen? And the backdash punish. Well, the worst that could happen is you die. You backdash the in the corner, just rapid fire 5A hitting it. And now Skeleton's on the verge of taking it over Alps. Alps', Alps is last stand. Alps' is last stand. Come on, old man. Oh Another a huge Ants here. What an anti air. Just a hard call out. Yeah, I mean, Alps fully committed. Gets pulled back in with a charge 5B. TK Overhead. kick TK beats, beats Forces the burst out, but Skelton with a huge meter advantage. Yeah, Skelton definitely not going to burst here. Nope, no need to. Another good mash against the fastball. We saw that in the, with the last game. Skelton one hit away. One other. Oof. Guess for game. Oh, this oh, is no, terrible. Guess for game. That's, and that's terrible it. situation. Yeah, that, that was checkmate. That when, was... Yeah, when you have Coma armor like that. Coma armor in the last hit scenario, then not much you can do. So we have our grand finals. And what a surprise. Not really, right? Not really. It's like these are like the, the two top seeds, actually. So we did have like so many upsets throughout the day. But Skeleton Moai, I think if you were gambling. If you're a gambling man at the end of the day, yeah, it's like, yeah. You probably made some dollars. So who do we got? Who do we got? We got Skeleton getting the run back? Hmm. Or is Moai ready? Is Moai going to still say that any any ain't shit? Chat, what do you think? Yeah, let us know. Let, let us, us know. know how y'all feel. What do you feel. think? How do y'all feel? But yeah, 
the adaptation speed is just crazy. Nah, uh, yeah. Crazy. Alps got caught in some unfortunate situations, though. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But, but but now Skeleton is on the stage. Moai is there. Now you got to think about that. You just went through with this battle with Alps, and it's like, oh yeah, I had this set with Moai a few minutes ago too. Now you got to really think about what happened in that set and adjust. Yeah, and Skeleton going with the, uh, the creature comfort animal. Well, you know, you got to look at it and make you happy. <laughs> Skeleton actually beat most of NA with this character. Like, if you're not showing it on stream, it's it's covering uh, H Neko or Chaos. H Neko is a tulpa. You can't convince me otherwise. All right, here we go. Seasats, Seacoma. Let's go. This Classic is home. our grand finals. Moe on the winner's side. Grand finals. Here we go. It's a long road for Skeleton. Let's go. Right? You gotta win so many games. Oh, that, that was dangerous. Both players just right next to each other in the air yeah, like that? Big scramble, favor skeleton. Big jump C. Big Moai jump looking C. for an anti air there. Do it again. Huge damage. You gotta remember last time the TK dive kick was baiting those air throws. Yep. And that's it. Yeah, that EX kick adds a lot of damage. And we're starting off with a perfect. Starting off with a perfect. Setting Setting with an easy, such an easy game. Just, 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 just run forward, press all your buttons. Yeah. Run forward, press all your buttons. Easy game. Oh, those Look at this corner defense. Stay there. Skeleton protecting the space with a dash 5A. And punishes the 2C. Yeah, 2C, despite its strengths, has a lot of recovery on Will. And we're not going to need too much for Moai to lose the first game here. Oh, that, no, the big whiff. Moai's yeah, reads have not been working out on that. That's going to be it. Maybe. Okay, there we Double go. Double perfect. It's been a while. It's been a while. Is, the, is that the download? Moi's gonna have to make something happen. He's gonna have to adapt. He's gonna have to do something right don't, now. Don't get quad perfected, bro. Shout out to Panda. All right, and he's making go. something happen. Moai with the big hit to start the second game. He's going for grabs, like really respecting Skeleton's blocking. Oh, big dodge. Big dodge. No conversion, though. I and that's the thing, Moai's not going to forget that dodge. So Skeleton has to be careful using that dodge in defense later. I got to wonder, what are those jump Bs that Moai's been whiffing? Are those supposed to be air dashes? Possibly, or, or, or is he just trying to like protect the space? It could nope. be an interception. No counter hit on that shield 5A from Moai. Oof, in nice movement for Skeleton. That's not going to hit. No gamble, big and punish. Yeah. Optimal on the air dash jump C. Moai with the immediate reaction on that super flash. And now we're in the mix. Gets blocked. Yeah. Skeleton back dashes out. Oh my god. What the heck? That oh. And there's the 2-2 two -two once again. Two to counter hit. Again, I wonder if like you want to present that dive kick or an air dodge to scout out that 2-2 two -two anti air. All right, it's not going to be it, but it is going to be guess. And that's it. The air dash back takes it. Sometimes it just be like that multi blood. They are dancing around they each other. They are dancing. That was a scramble and a half in the end. Just both flying at each other. I thought I was playing Melty Blood in Arcana Heart. Good lord. Nice Skelton hit. Skeleton with the, the TK dive out. kicks. Another meaty. Just meaty. Big hit. A lot of meter. And this is looking really similar to Watch the first game. Watch out for the wake-ups, too. The reversals can and will happen. That's not going to hit again, but more. missed. That time happening? was definitely a missed air dash. And I noticed that Moe's been getting a lot of those missed air dashes. Right. But, but still, he's making it happen right now with this combo. Putting Skeleton in the mix once more. It goes the through. And here we go again on the same ride. Skeleton's OK taking that hit. Koma has so much help. Exactly. The life lead is still established. Oh, no. Can't take too many more of those hits. Satsuki with max mode. The next one is great. Now you're going to have to make a choice. You tried blocking. And what now this is try? it. Oh, no. It's like, and what if I try blocking again? You tried blocking four times. It didn't work. And Moai keeping it simple, straightforward, taking it back. And that is C. Satsuki in a nutshell. Even Crescent Coma gets mixed. Even Crescent Coma. Everyone gets God. And that's why the neutral is so important. You get hit once, you could lose the entire round. And both of these players expressing very quick neutral. Crazy yeah, scramble in the air. Yeah, Moai that was an like a little bit of an aggressive chase on the tech. Good block. And as Skeleton is not afraid, I'm going to EX grab anyway. I think Skeleton's fishing out for those extended normals from Satsuki to 214C with. 
There we nice go. Nice block on the 2-2. And Mari just mashing. That wasn't actually a punish. Again. Does it again? Why what does that convert? Why does that convert? Satsuki, Kamune. Silly game. Good job, Kamune. And that's what I was talking about earlier, Skeleton. You're going to have to be careful. Moai did not forget about the dodge in the first game. Both of these players just taking note of each other's habits and just immediately adapting and punishing. Here's the setup. There it is. I wonder why Skeleton didn't try anything. Might have just Homa decided. has options, right? Like a shield, probably, EX shield. Probably and not worth the meter because look at this. Going round two with 230 versus zero. Right. I mean, TTC. Something, you know, something that doesn't cost too much. TTC probably loses, actually. Probably, know. yeah. Baiting the burst. So far, not a single one of those has worked out. Skeleton just does not burst Really patient and good punish. Moai expecting air dash forward. Skeleton just moved away. There what a punish. Again, it's not going to work a second time. That's, That's going to work a second up. time and a third time. But a big miss. And Skeleton air dashing back at Moai, back turned. That was a dangerous play. And falling for that same EX Shield 5A counter hit again. Like Moai is, oh, they missed, that was a, that was a miss on Blood Heat actually. And I think that was E button. That was a miss, but it doesn't matter. Moai just straight two rounds over Skeleton. Okay, and look, this would mean, like this could be the final game if Moai wins. Skeleton's got to win. Big counter hit. Good bash. <laughs> Skeleton keeping it slow, yeah. simple. And it's so hard to, to pressure Moai. You don't know what's going to happen on defense. Oh, wow. Almost got tech punish right there. Yeah, but Moai gets the hit regardless. Ooh, how is that? Gets reset by the command grab. Yeah, very. Oh, There's a lot of damage, too. <clears throat> and one more. Comes from the other side. You gotta watch your movement. Like Moai is a hunter. Those air, air dash jump C's from Sasuke are dangerous. Moai's been looking for those two C's from Koma. Again with the XL 5A. Yeah, just reacting. And that's it. One, one more guess. Gonna What's to, it gonna be? Yeah. Air dash back this time. We block it. Oh no, that was so risky. You see that? It's like Moai is going for these risky ass air techs. Why not just fade away and wait? Instead of just going all in like that. But you know, it's been working out because Moai's up two and one round. Yeah, I mean, that's what I mean. He, I feel like he, Skeleton just walked back. He might, and he might not be feeling threatened enough to where he has to clean up, clean up his decisions like that. And Moai intercepting with 5B. Excellent button. And this will be difficult to block. What's Skeleton going to show? This, could, find, this could possibly be the final round of the it tournament. It could be, yeah. We're almost at a, a bloody situation. Oh no, with a drop! Oh no, oh, B grab no. and max mode meter. Max mode meter, but not gonna have enough time to go for the blood heat. With the bait. Ooh, oh my god, it's very scary. And that's, oh, that's it. No. That's Is it. that gonna be it? Is that. Just What's that? Style combo. Style Dropped combo. It. Dropped the style Skeleton combo. heat. Bust out. You went for that. If now is the time we go. A miracle happened. This is it. Skeleton moving an awakened. Man. Big opening for Skeleton. Something can happen. Something can happen from this. No backdash from Moai. <laughs> oh, EX no, shield not again. the EX shield. We saw that again, earlier. Big drop, The though. combo drop. Dash like the dodge just doesn't work, though. And that's the hit. Is that it? I'm not sure. Homa has no. a lot of health and the big drop. The big drop. It's still anybody's game. Scrambling. Fishing. Dashing. Oh, oh my, what my was God, that? That should have been punished. And that's what a it. series of scrambles, and that's it. That's it. Moai's going to take it over to Skeleton. Moai, climax of Night. Climax of Night, champion Moai six. is your Climax of Night 6 champion. Wow. Crazy. Crazy. Yeah. Shout out to Big One Arcade. We got to hold that. We got to hold that. If Shout out to Moai. Shout out to Moai. Everybody yeah. give it up for Moai. And you got the, the clean jacket on. And you got the circuit card. Yeah, I see Moai exchanging some words with Skeleton. That was a really nice. I mean, everyone wanted the reset. We all wanted it. We all we all wanted the reset. We all wanted the reset.
Sometimes we just want to see them good ass melty. Yeah, I mean, but Mo, I wasn't allowing that. You, it's like um, if you want to reset, you gotta actually do it. Gotta, I'm gonna make it hard. It. But you know, but I feel like Mo was giving opportunities. Like Mo was making a lot of risky plays, especially on defense and in those air attacks. I feel like that should have been exploited more by basic fundamental play. But you know, that's the thing, isn't it? Like you see this top eight, and you're like, you're like okay, that was crazy. But you know, Mo is making some decisions here. Like you start getting those thoughts in your head where you start thinking, okay, next time. Next no, time. I know. The thing is, uh, with Moai is very reactive. So it's Moai seeing that aggressive play. And that's why that tech into the yeah, shield will work. If you don't do that aggressive play, Moai is probably not going to do it. So if you walk back, like if Skeleton walks back and just tries to protect the corner, Moai is just going to tech and maybe maybe jump out or maybe just low tech or something else. Yeah. But you could better defend the corner in that instance rather than going for the hard read. But I think finally. After that's why it worked out, though. After so long, NA has put Melty on the map for themselves. 100%. I mean, it is clear that a lot of NA players could have won. Yeah. yeah. Like, uh, it, could, it could have been anybody's game. Sure. And in the future, I would hope more Japanese players can come by. And, you know, I hope some of these kids should travel, too. They need to travel as well. Yeah. You got to make a trip to the Mecca. <laughs> the Mecca. Before the arcades Melty. are gone. Because yeah, you never know how long arcades will last in Japan, either. Yeah. Are we throwing it over to awards? Yeah, I think we're going to go awards. We good? Uh, shout out to Chase shout making to Chase. top eight. Wow. Gotta love Jin. I went out to eat with Jin too. Made some jokes with him. Had Gaku translated it. Yeah. That's my boy Grant, KFL. At least one of West Coast got top eight. Sure. <laughs> but you know what? West Coast, East Coast, Japan, all in top eight. And also other regions. This is a very, very decorated top eight. Hell yeah. The young and the old all the over the, the country, yeah, all, all over the, the world. Country. It's a beautiful thing. I want to hear the crowd get loud for Skeleton. Yeah. All right, let's hear the booze. <laughs> Congratulations to Moai. Wow, posing. And he's flexing. What's on the shirt anyway? Are we good? Are we, are we still live, I guess? Yeah. All right, Shinobi just made all the announcements. Yeah, all right. Well, I guess that's it for us here at Climax Tonight. Yeah, it was a pleasure to work with you. Yeah, Definitely. I mean, and this for, I mean, for me, it's like this might be the last time I'm doing any of these events. So I was really happy to come through. I'm happy to have been given the opportunity to commentate and to commentate with Bell. Got the Lifetime Achievement Award and all that. I'm never going to get one of those. But I know I've done a lot for them, too, so. Yeah, there's like, honestly, everyone in this scene has done so much. And it's been overwhelming to see how this little, small, crazy idea that I had yeah. just sprouted into all this. It's been uplifting. If you have a chance to come to events like this, it's worth it. Like, everyone that comes up to me and talks to me, like, I have a similar experience. Like, all the kids on how much I helped them, how much I, I had a player crying hugging me telling me how much I mean to them you know yeah yeah same thing for me it's like everyone coming up to me it's just been nothing like this ever in my life I, I will remember right. this I'll, I'll remember yeah. this forever and forever. always amen <laughs> amen <laughs> bible study <laughs> alright so are we yeah 
That is that was a Zara shout out. All right, so yeah, that's gonna be it for us. So yeah, hope everybody enjoyed. Glad that we were here, and yeah, keep playing Melty Blood. All right, peace out, y'all. Peace.